G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. We're back in Alpha 20, back in the Clock Tower series, coming into day 27. And for the first time in a little while, god it's windy as dicks out here at the moment, I'm starting the day out in my desert base. I'm still chock a bloody block after all of my adventures just yesterday. So I need to get home, drop most of this stuff off, and crack on with my day. So to head on out, I wanted to hang out out until um was it trader trader hugh i think it is yeah trader hugh opened up at 6 a.m to see what he had for me got my tier 4 clear out there as well there's lots of things i want to do but i think the most pressing issue that i need to take care of is probably uh reinforcing the gunpowder mine it's too far away from my base to run a turret or anything there so if i just put some sort of like building around it probably out of those cobblestone blocks i got and keep that nice and safe that would be good for me running the head out there pretty soon the sun's cresting and i'm ready to go Huey boy is not going to open for a fair while, so I may as well just hop on the old hog and head back to town. But is that a working vendor? Just said, I probably checked here before. Nope, you're definitely a broken one. All right, we'll head on home and sort all my life out. And I do need to fess up and cop to the fact that, to, as a surprise to absolutely no one, I am an idiot. I sold all of my robotics parts yesterday. Which I was saving to make myself a DD. Now, yes, I don't have the schematic to make a DD. Actually, no, wait. No, I'm going to rephrase all this. I deliberately sold all my robotics parts. Deliberately with a plan in mind. Because if I get rid of all of my robotics parts, it means... I'm not going to have the parts I need to make a DD. So the game's going to be like, huh, I'm going to, I'm going to really annoy you and give you a schematic for a DD. But that's fine with me. I'll get some more robotic, uh, robotic parts later on. So that's all fine and dandy. It's all about playing 4D chess. Playing the long game when you know that 7 Days wants to dick you. Speaking of... <laughs> sorry I had to do it to you, but I need what you're made out of. Oh, God. The rainstorm's starting to clear, which is... I mean, it doesn't really matter too much, I suppose. I'm only a third wet. Only wet up to the ankles anyway. So not too much of a problem. There's some remnants of past Josh's escapades out here on the road. G'day, Kenny boy. How you doing? Wow, that rainstorm disappeared immediately. I don't know. I'm, quite, I'm trying to think of, like, what my plan of action is. I need better gear. I am rolling with steel stuff now. Steel clubs, steel tools. Got my pump shotgun. Got a damn good AK as well. So I'm still yearning to, like, get some quests that's going to take me out to high-level POIs in the desert. Not unlike the Wayne Manor that I raided just the other day. So if I can get some more things like that, that's going to go very well for me. It's just a matter of convincing Jenny girl to actually give me those jobs. That's the problem. She likes to send me to the town she lives in. She wants to see us any big adventures lately. G'day, Jen. It's been a long and arduous journey, but I have finally come back. And I would just like to know, like, I've got this quest for you just here, but that's not really tickling my fancy really at all. Oh, I was supposed to go back and hand that quest in. Look how much it's worth, too. Like 10,000 experience and two and a half grand. That's going to be an adventure all in itself. Oh, damn it, I should have done it before I left. That was silly, but... Oh, well, whatever. I'm going to get rid of this one. Piss off, please. I'm going to get a new one from Trady Jen. How are you, love? So, what are you buying today? Oh, anything you've got to sell me. I have lots of money, but I don't think I could afford you. Uh... <laughs> Anyway, uh, what have you got? Fetch and clear to the west, not very far away. Another restore power in my hometown. You know, I always admired a hmm. hard... Oh, thank goodness. Housing I development. Anyone to do that job. She was talking about admiring hard things. I had to cut off. I got too excited. That is another restore power. And I don't recognize the POI at all, but that could be a bit of an interesting endeavor. Mmm, although, shit, it's Horde Night tomorrow night, so I probably shouldn't be doing anything too outrageous. Jen, I appreciate the offer, but nah, mate. Give me the other one instead. Give me the nice close fetch and clear. Mm, fantastic. Ask the restaurant again? Good. Then no. Then no. Don't even blame worry about it. I won't take a quest at all then. It's always a gamble when you go trading quests in. Like, I could have just done that other quest. That would have been fine and dandy, but I was hoping for something better. I rolled the dice and I got snake eyes. I needed those loaded dice from Road of El Dorado to really get what I was after. A map to the golden place. But either way, I am now home. 
slide on through there. There we go. Happy as and drop off all of my gubs. I'm coming home pretty loaded up. I'm not going to lie. I've got lots of stuff to sell and to read and to do all sorts of things with. For example, you, first and foremost, where are you going to send me? Old mate Steve-O. Where we going? Where we going, Stevie boy? Quickly check you. You're in the in the middle of town. I can probably go and get that in four minutes. No, I can see if you'll get that in a jiffy. With all my stuff put away, let me have a cheeky little look see. So I've got these two lever actions. Who's doing better? You're doing 69 damage. Nice. Uh, and you are doing 67. And that's the one that I was actually already using. Okay, so that one's definitely better. So I'll grab both of you. I'll chuck you out of there and chuck it into your replacement. In you go. No hackers, knackers. Chuck a couple of rounds in the magazine as well in case someone does show up on me doorstep. Where is my... There it is there. I've got to... I should probably mark, like, paint a window still red or something so I know which way is what. But I can't those stairs. I need to shoot them. But to do that, I need to know which way is up. What I do need to do, actually, before I get too carried away, give me my cements. I don't have much sand at all, but I do have a decent amount of small stones now. So let's turn mm, about that much, I think. That should be about the right amount. Let's turn all of that into sand. Mix you, and that's going to give me a pretty decent amount of bow so I can make myself some more concrete. Because I do want to upgrade some of my horde base before Horde Knight shows up. The issue is... Then I don't want to use like those wood blocks or the cobblestone blocks that I got given uh, because it skips like half of the upgrade process, which is good for materials, but bad for XP. And given that's what I'm desperate for, that's what I should be focusing on. I'll scrap you for pistol parts. You're worth a bit of coin. And I have the pistol parts that I need to make myself the SMG auto turrets. You're just worth more as parts than you were as a tier one pistol. So I think I'll actually sell you might be a bit of a bad decision but that's all i ever do really seem to get away with it most of the time hmm okay lots of ammo lots of shotgun ammo so what's the most pressing thing i need to do other than making the concrete that's almost done thank you very much nice you're now working on the goopy stuff i'll get the rest of you cracking on that's near enough is close enough i suppose i'll turn that into them and what are you, like a hundred left over in that one too. No, ooh, 92. <laughs> right on the nipple, all right? Don't mind then. Take all of that and chuck it back where you need to go. I'm going to go get that buried supplies quest. I think you should have some petrol left over in you if I'll break down some shit along the way. Today's kind of a hard day. There's no like out and out plan for what I want to do today. Often I'm coming into this with like a goal in mind. Yes, normally I get distracted and completely whiff whatever goal I had in mind, but normally I have some semblance of an idea of what to do. But today, because it is Horde Night tomorrow night, and I've got the Horde base already done, and like being in the Pine Forest means my looting level is so low, I don't really have an idea of what I want to do. It's, it's difficult, I'm not sure. The treasure quest should just be down this little dinky road just here. Cruise on down. Lots of zombies moaning at me, but that's okay. Oh, here it is just here. Nice and easy. I'm not sure. See, like, the temptation is to go back down to the wasteland and see if I missed anything, but I know that the wasteland is a terrible idea. There's the whole, like, military compound there as well that probably has some pretty good gubbins in it, but do I want to go and find out personally? Not especially, because it's going to end up with me getting stuffed like a bloody piñata. So I don't really want to do that. I also don't have any gas in my, uh, my auger right now, so I have to go and break down some cars. I just want to go looting. I want to get the shiny stuff, but the shiny stuff is so dangerous. This is actually an electronics... Oh, shit, an electronics fan. I was going to change over to my uh, my looting specs to do that, but I pressed the wrong button because, of course, I bloody did. Old man's coming over for a chat about my tomfoolery. So is Loza. Piss off, Loza. Dog. I'm a little busy right now, squelching out all the dinosaur juice I can from whatever gas tanks left in this thing taking forever. These bands take so long to break down. I better get some bow. Oh God. Better get some bonuses out of it. Where do you guys come from? Nice little Barkwind party. It's good to be back home. I wasn't expecting such a turnout. Almost done with you. There you go. I did actually get an engine. Oh, a tier six battery as well out of you, but an engine more importantly. 
which seems to have been rather difficult for me to find of late, so I appreciate stumbling across one of those. Kenneth, piss off please, and quickly pour in the dinosaur juice in the Miorga. I do want to find like more engines and things. I would like to make a gyrocopter at some point. Now I know I've seen both the schematics for both of these things um, at various trades and didn't buy them. But now I'm getting close. I'll keep an eye out for the gyro accessories tomorrow when I go and see some of the traders around and see what they've got to offer me. If we could take to the skies, like going down to the waste and stuff would be a little bit more viable. I'm still taking the motorcycle with me for getting around like on the ground, but being able to fly as the crows do directly there would be pretty great. Just getting rid of the trees so I can actually see what's going on in the circle. It should shrink pretty quickly. It's why I brought the orb and make this as quick as possible, but I'm not sure if it's actually going to be worthwhile, but potentially just the shovel is going to be the way. Throw you guys away and start dinging it up. Where's the best spot to go? Where's the best spot to go? I wonder, actually. I mean, it's been a long time since it worked, but what about if the old left hinge method still works? Potentially that might be the goer, because it's not quite in the middle of the circle. Potential. There is definitely potential for this. Let's dig on down and see how it's going. If we find it quick, we'll have a celebration. But if we're here for ages... Well, it's just another normal day, isn't it? Yeah, nah, it didn't quite work out how I wanted it to, but at least I'm breaking blocks. Ooh, nice and quickly. The circles come in a little bit again. It's getting smaller and smaller, but about where the marker was. So maybe that wasn't the worst idea ever. I mean, I don't have a lot of evidence to make a decision from, but at least it's, uh, at least bit, it's a little bit promising, which is better than half the things I've got to go on. Hmm, not here though. Where are you sending me? Where are you bloody sending me? Get up out of the hole, please. That way. Okay, gotcha. Oh! Oh, it's locked! I forgot that they're locked and I didn't bring my bleeding lock picks with me. Honestly, Josh, slap some icing on your nose because you are nothing but a cake. And not in any good way because you're about as dense as a biscuit. God damn it, me. Well, I can't pick you open. I suppose I could just do this. I mean, it'll take a while to get into it, but it'd be quicker to break it open this way than it would be to go all the way home, get my lockpicks, and come back again. Oh, you utter monkey, Josh. Not my best effort. Not my best. That'll do. We're in. Where are my loot and gogs? Have... Now, is this a level up noise? Like, no, it was a level up noise. No, it was just be completing the quest. That's fine. Couple of gold nugs, some old money. It's here, three Sammy the Sledge. Never got to say no to a bit of companionship, though. I am looking for your more aerodynamic friend. Although, I mean, I guess at the very least, I can scrap you for robotics parts. I can tear you apart limb from limb and use the parts of you to make someone else. Go on full Frankenstein's monster, but that's okay. Right, let's go to uh, top, uh, a lot of this stuff that I just got uh, from breaking various things down and that treasure back at home. God, look at that. I've barely even left the house and I'm chock or block to the brim. Home sweet home once again. I'll just leave the bike out the front. Don't necessarily have to take it in with me every time. Cracker book. Like, maybe I can find the gyro accessories just in a book or even a DD schematic or whatever. Now that I don't have the parts, the game might give it to me as I was talking about before. You can all go back into there. Orga can go into that one. I'll keep Sammy with me for the moment. I'll see how I go later on. And if I do need to get rid of it, I'll deal with it then. You can all go in like that. You can go in there and whatever else I've got can go in soon. I've got a lot of just like a random governs on me that I'm not sure what to do with. <laughs> do I get the lock picks now and leave them on me? No. Actually, what I'll do is I'll grab my explosive charges. Because I'm not really going on any massive raids today. Not worth taking lockpicking candy, so not worth taking the lockpicks. At least that's my theory. Oh, I completely forgot that I did actually make myself one of the SMG auto turrets. So I'll keep that in mind. You can go into them. You can go into there. Sellables box can also take that one. But now I'm curious. So not only was there that cracker book across the street in the line of buildings I've been meaning to raid for a while, actually... There's your electrical place there. I don't want to waste that when I've got a low looting level. That is what kind of sucks about being in the pine forest. But back down where I was, I think it was this one here. I think that's a big cracker book. I'm not sure how the looting level affects book finds. I don't think it does much at all. At least that's the rumors I've been hearing. Oh, 
Hang on a second, I've got something specially for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I don't. No, damn it. I didn't get there in time. I wish there was a faster way to whip out the old sniper rifle. <sighs> Can you just like... I'm sorry? Oh, God, I'm really sorry. Oh. <laughs> I knew I blew... Oh, jeez, don't stand over there, Josh. That is a whole view. You need to get some more fabric on that skirt because a Barbie doll would be scantily clad at this point. You got a couple of spaghetti straps. That's about it. I'm just going to avert my gaze so I don't get deleted off YouTube. Whew. That was, uh, that was a lot of ass cheek. I'm all hot and bothered now. But that's interesting. So she got the crawl on and came straight under those bars. Now, I should say, I am film this is the first thing I've filmed in seven days since they've done the 20.1 stable update. So that might have changed. I might need to reevaluate some things. Interesting. And not in a good way. Hmm. Well, that's kind of got to take precedence then. Give me the concrete. Give me that concrete too. Uh, I've got that on me. So I just need that one and that one. I'm a little shy on cobblestone, which sucks a little bit. Perhaps I can just, can I scrap all of you? I'll just scrap all of you into stones. A lot of stones. Yes, bloody please. Give me all of that goodness. Because I wasn't really going to use it for anything else. Yes, I could have used it for the, the gunpowder mine, but there are more pressing issues of foot that I need to deal with. The first one being... How have I done this, actually? So that's the free block there. So those will take up all that space there. Okay, that's fine. I just need to get rid of my handiwork real quick. It's going to take a little while, but it should be worth it. And just put in something a bit more solid. I'm thinking potentially even like ramp blocks or something in there. Just so they can't crawl under those bars, crawl through and cause me dramas. Just something more solid that's not going to break my sight lines just to get in their way. This is going to take some doing, but I'm confident. We can do this. I've gotten rid of those 0.025 pillars, but it's still one of my favorite blocks, I assume, if they still work the way that they did before the most recent update. But now that I've gotten rid of it, I realize that, I mean, yes, I had to get rid of them, but those weren't really the ones that were the problem. The problem is actually these ones at the front, so I'm going to, have to do the same thing all over again and get rid of, uh, let's aim for the bottom piece, actually. That one there, please be the right block I'm breaking and don't have some weird little, you know, like the glancing blows that often cause me problems. I'm not seeing any cracks appear in the blocks around it though, so I think it's the right one. Got to get rid of these ones on the bottom as well. Got to do the base uh, refurbishments. Got to do the base upgrades the day before. It's good practice to have when you're not a galah like me. We can go raiding anytime. Got to make sure this is food as a fiddle though. There we go. Got a nice, clear window to work with now. So, so my initial thought was just to get some cubes like that, right? That's actually the good thing about having these new plywood shapes is that you can actually see what it's going to look like a little bit better than you could before. I'll copy that shape and I'll also copy that rotation because I wouldn't mind having an extra layer of defense up the top like that. So, um, so how would that work? So if they try and crawl through... Would that space there be big enough for the zombies to try and get through? It's hard to know, and I can't really run zombies through when it's just plywood, because if they do take a swing, like, it's not a good way to test their pathing, because they'll just break the block and get through anyway. If there's even anyone around for me to actually have a chin wag with, if someone would like to show up right about now and run the gauntlet for me, that would be sick tits. Not much. Not much for me at all, is there? I'll chuck you up on the top as well. I think that should work fine because it shouldn't get in the way of my clubbing. I might just have to do it to see how it goes. I'll go and feed myself real quick as well and grab my nail gun. I'm just going to have to gamble. It might be it might be terrible. It might be a piece of piss. We won't know until tomorrow night. So I guess we just start with the bottom blocks first. The only thing that's really worrying me about this in any considerable sense is that... Seven days works in strange ways. Well, not in strange ways. It works very predictable ways because the zombies are super duper structural engineers. So when the zombies show up, they're going to do a calculation and they're going to try and decide what the most efficient way to get to me is going to be. Is that going to be 
running up here and trying to beat their way through these fences. I'm hoping that the fact the wall behind me is strong and I can close the door, that that might be an extra layer of protection to stop them thinking that tunneling through the base of my tower and coming up the internals is a better option. That's why I replaced everything inside there with solid concrete way back when, because I was hoping that would dissuade them just that little bit more. Bonds are my level up, got a skill point to spend, but I'm saving up to get myself the, um... Watch my call. Let's get myself the Daring Adventure. I just need another two on top of what I have. I'll get rid of you, and I'll make you a solid block, because you're just a rare little window there at the moment. But I'm hoping that's enough. In fact, I might even... Yeah, nah, sod it. I'll make all these concrete. The thicker this is, the stronger this is, the better off I'm going to be. And the better this is all going to work. I'm just going to upgrade the rest of these because they're there just kind of wishing and wanting it. They're the only cobblestone left in almost all of my construction. Get rid of that. I want to get rid of you though, but you're heckin' bloody strong and I'm not super thrilled about spending eight years breaking down a 5,000 HP block. That'll hopefully be okay. Uh, what? Oh, hang on. You're the odd one out here. I'll go like that. Get you all nice and uh, reinforced up so you match the rest of the building. Nice. So what am I missing now? I need to go put that turret down, actually. I can put the rest of these reinforcement materials away. You can piss off. I'll grab you back again. If I put that turret down, that's just going to be my anti-vulture defense. I'm not sure what the best place, like where the best place to put that is going to be. I'll have to go and have a bit of a gander downstairs and see what jumps out at me. You can go back into there. Although, you know what? Nah, fuck it. I can do that tomorrow. I've got a little bit of time before the horde shows up tomorrow night to run a wire to something. I want to go raiding. I want to go exploring. I want to go looting, which means I need to quickly jump on you. I'll go to the big cracker book. I'll go to the big cracker book first. The little one next door can be done anytime. The big one down the road, that's what's getting me salivating. There's the big boy cracker book just there. Now, I know that I can go full Nitro Express raiding relatively easy. I do have the shotgun. The shotgun has the rather unfortunate characteristic of breaking buildings more than it breaks zombies' faces, but still good to do the job whenever I need it to. Like that. Just try and make sure. I was going to say, try and make sure that when you're shooting through a zombie, you're paying attention to what's behind him and you're not shooting the bookshelves. Bookshelves are made of wood, and shotguns destroy all of the wood ever. So if I just make sure the collateral damage is as minimal as possible, that's going to serve me well. Oh. <laughs> what did I just say? What did I just say? The shotgun eats wood for breakfast like it's Happy Gilmore. Oh, no, not Happy Gilmore. He's shooting a gavin eating pieces of shit for breakfast. Holy shit. It ain't a fucking tree. I, 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 I've, I've voiced my concerns about the perk of getting all the Shock of Messiah books before. That's a pretty good example of it. There we go. I've lured down all the zombies from up the top. I'm going to try and keep my elevation to... There we go. <laughs> Sorry about your counter. To try and kill them nice from a distance. Oh, strip of titties. Almost missed you. Got you the second time. Ooh, army boy. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'll stick with the club for now. It should do a pretty bang up job, and sure enough, it did. See, that's what I was worried about. There might have been books on the other side of this that we'll never know about now. I might have to put the shotgun away for this. I might have to. I'm even too scared to open up the box with it, because it might just ruin everything. Mm, I can take you, but I will just sell you. The crickets are starting to chirp. I've done most. Ooh, I've done most of the POI already. Admittedly, cracker books aren't great for loot. I'm not sure how you would balance it, though. It feels uh, lackluster getting look like, 77 pieces of paper, finding one or two at a time. Finding just bulk sheets of paper instead of finding books. But if you found all the books consistently, like if you found lots of books every time you went to a cracker book, you'd be done in no time, you know? Like, you'd go to one cracker book and have all the books ready and waiting for you. How you doing, bud? Sit you down, hit you in the dick, and hit you in the other dick. That's fine. Bit of ammo too. But yeah, like, I don't know how you could balance that out. I just, I just don't get excited about cracker books anymore. I come here, I get disappointed in the loot, and then try and swear it off, only for four seconds later to immediately go to another cracker book in the hopes of something better. Let's get through the warehouse bit as quick as we can. Oh, 
Oh, there you are. I was going to say, there's usually someone back here, but no, he was hiding out in the next aisle. Almost missed him. Got it done eventually, though. Knock, knock. Ready or not, here I come. Yes, I did think there's going to be something in here. Quickly grab you. Actually, let's just replace... Yeah, there we go. Don't really need the machete when I'm cruising about inside here, do I? Boop, 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 boop. Chuck you on. I'll hang it outside where it's nice and safe and watch the glare of the sunset coming through the windows. What you got? Ugh, gross. I mean, I can sell you, but the uh, deal, gross. Get out of me. Now that I'm up on the roof, actually, I'll chuck on the X. Uh, no, I'll leave them off for a moment because I will forget to change them over later on. Now that I'm up on the roof, I can just wake everybody up and use the shotgun to its best ability. Oh! I mean, it's still me, so I'm still going to miss, but, you know, we can pretend like I'm a good shot occasionally for about three seconds before I'm put to the test again and completely whiff it all over again. Someone's out here. They always get stuck in their little rooms. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, bud. Don't you worry about it. See, Shotgun still has a time and a place. Just not in here anything splintering. I know there's going to be a dog in here, so quickly open it up with the AK drawn. Oh, I see ya. I see ya. Get your attention. Sort you out. Anyone else in here? Nah, we're all fine and dandy. Nice. What do we have on offer? There's a leather trunk. Oh, an old school bookcase. I don't think it's still the case. <laughs> More paper. I don't think it's still the case that the old bookshelves have the better chance of loot than the new ones. I think they fixed that, but it still gets me a bit excited every time I see the old school version of it. Iron crossbow. Hey, it gave me something. It gave me 200 bucks at the very least. Got lots of things to sell tomorrow. Another pistol peep book. I've got a couple of those. I think there's only actually one pistol peep book that I'm missing. There is. And I'm holding two different ones. Just neither are the one that I need. Oh, you're making me sad. A tier 5 Bayball but I don't think you're going to be up to the challenge of... I mean, you're not terrible. Oh, you are pretty terrible, actually. You're at, what, two-thirds of the damage that the Steel Club does. I'm sorry. I can't. I just can't justify it. I would love to have you back in my life in a bloody jiffy, the blink of an eye, and I'd have you back in my hands in a heartbeat. But I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I've got to go with a zombie killer more than, you know, any sort of emotional attachment. I still have OG Babel Bat back at home, though. Still with me. I may not use it anymore. I'm just keeping it safe, keeping it locked away so it doesn't get hurt. It's 9 o'clock. We're heading back home uh, again. There's a uh, mm, bank. Sure. Doesn't really roll off the tongue very well. But, you know, if you don't want to name your bank after a moany little groan, then, you know, you be you. I could raid the cathedral. I haven't raided the cathedral yet, which is weird given it's next door to my house. Maybe not a bad idea. Maybe we could do that tomorrow even. Not sure. Not entirely sure. I have a lot of things I have to do tomorrow, though. I've got to go and see the traders because it's trading restock day. And I'll hopefully have either a gyrocopter accessory schematic or a DD schematic. Or just a flat out DD. Wouldn't say no to that either. That's all hopes and dreams right now. More importantly, got to shove this shit away. Put all you guys into the sellables box to get some dosh tomorrow. Yeah, we should be good, though. Look at that. Got $16,000 redos. There's an accessory schematic out there somewhere. It's going to be mine. What I'm going to do, actually, while I've got a little bit of time, I'll grab the old auger boy. I'll grab some extra dinosaurs as well. Purely because I wouldn't mind going and fixing up the, the supports out on my base. It's just kind of, it's annoying me. It's annoying me just that little bit too much that there's this little gap over here. So I'm going to get rid of you in the best way I know how by... <laughs> turning formerly organic beings into nothing but pollution and getting rid of these blocks. All this, I, I miss the old days. Remember we used to just like upgrade a block and it would revert to like the full block version of itself? I miss when that was a thing. Now I'm just going to do this. Moment of truth, please don't break. Didn't break, lovely doubly. I'll chuck you in there first so I don't have any mishaps over this side. That's the one to get rid of. Get rid of you soon. That'll mean that all of my structure now looks like it makes sense in the world soon. I still want to build... It's about to be night time. I still want to build more of like a, a wall, a bit more of like a capture point underneath. So when they fall down, if they do go to destroy anything mode, they have to go either back out the way they came or somewhere where I can see them. There's the night time. Chuck you into them. I don't have any of the goods on me to upgrade you right now. But yeah, like something like just... Like along like this. 
Oh, okay. Ooh. Actually, hang on a second. There's a hole in the wall over there as well, which I might have to go and patch up at some point. Yes, yes, I know. Give me a gander. Give me a look-see. Are you still going to par the way I want you to? Little test, little dry run for tomorrow night. Here comes some more. And by the looks of things, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Could we change over to that one? But can I make you... Nope. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to make you crawl and get mad at me. Can you stop going goopy and just get on all fours? It's the first time I've said that. It sounds like it has a better meaning for a different conversation. Nah, they're just, they're just not having a bar of it. All right, never mind then. Here we go. Upgrade you all the way up to that one. I probably should... Yeah, I will. I will. I will while I'm here. Copy shape and then copy rotation. Slot you back in there. Oh. Hold the phone. There's some more Muppets coming for me. It's a little rude. I'm on, I'm on the job. You know, I'm on the site. You can't be coming over and interrupting me. You better be bringing me a sausage roll or a big M if you're going to be cruising over and getting in the way when I'm on the bloody tools. There's still more coming. <laughs> Just give me a moment to upgrade you. Jeez, all those walls are feeling pretty sorry for themselves. <laughs> Sitting and feeling sorry for yourself, as if on cue, Feral ScoMo showing up, letting me ride him like a bloody big toboggan. <laughs> There's lots of them. They're all out here. That's right. Steel Club's got your measure. I might even just go... Oh, I'm out of cobble, though, which is a bit of a shame. Gonna need some more of that to go upstairs and make some more. We're thinking, maybe we'll just go around and upgrade all the, the center blocks, the eye level blocks, all the way around uh, the POI. Get over to there. Oh, there's a bit of a jump. That torch, I just realized, is in a weird spot, and I want to change it. Get rid of you. Take that one and chuck you in the middle. Yeah, that's much better. Much better. Symmetricality is always important. Nice. Yeah, I need some more cobblestone to do the upgrades, but I think making everything concrete around the outside, not a bad idea. Not a bad shout. I'll grab that iron. In fact, I'll grab like half the iron, I think, because one of you, that one, had the um, the crucible in you. I'll chuck another couple of you into them. Is that forge? I don't think that forge is actually smelting away. I don't think there's anything I can actually do with it. All right, never mind then. Get your cracking on like that. Let's go steal. I can only make one of you so far, so you're going to have to burn for that nice and quickly. Let's go like you. In fact, let's get all the iron. What else am I going to use the iron for other than make myself steel? So chuck you into them. Grab those wooden blocks that are really good for fuel. And just like, have like an hour's worth of fuel. That's fine. I could do the math to figure out how long this is going to take, but I don't really have the spaghetti power to do that, so I just bloody won't. You can go back into them. So I can't scrap you. I can only, I can only sell it. All right, well, piss off then. Could do with an extra cement mix, but I think for the most part, this is all coming together pretty happily. So what do you need? I've got engines, that's fine. Mechanical parts, spring, and forged iron. There's my materials box. I'm still, even after all this time, I'm still getting the groups with the layout of my house. Forged iron, you, you, and an engine. Grab that one, chuck it into there. Cement mixer, craft you up. That's what that little, like, pocket over there has been waiting for. I designed it like that, purely with that in mind. Grab all that one. Sick. So what's next? So tomorrow, or rather today, just ticked over. I do need to go and see the traders. I'll just go see the main ones uh, being like Joel and the two gens. Because they're pretty easy to get to and just kind of a round trip. But then what? I do want to try and... Mm, I do want to try and dig... Uh, not dig, sorry, build the horseshoe underneath my base. I've talked about it before. I want to build that and get that sorted out. But is there something more pressing? Maybe I should go mine some gunpowder. Actually, not a bad shout because I do need uh, that to make ammo. Although, to be perfectly honest, if I look in here, give me you guys. Give me, look at that. Look how much ammo I bloody have. Especially shotgun rounds. And there's no wood behind my base either. Well, it's not in close contact. So I could just hammer away with shoddy rounds pretty willy nilly. Hmm, that might be interesting, actually. I'll keep that in mind. There's actually this pistol in here. I'll grab you, and I'll grab the 9mm rounds out of you as well, because when am I ever going to be using that? And the answer to that question is, never. I'll go put all that back upstairs and sell that pistol. Where? That's right, there's a dingo outside, but I'm not too concerned about it. Try not to stand on your forge this time, please. I did it once before, and you're still licking your wounds from it. 
You're still cooking away. So really all I need is like that, I need those nine millimeter even rounds for the, uh, for the tarot. But other than that, not really anything else. While I'm here actually, because it is now day 28, and I think it's still a thing. I've mentioned this before, but I'm not sure if it's still a thing or not. I'm pretty sure that screamers don't get called in before a horde. So if I could take advantage of that, that would be dope. Make all the casings. Yeah, nah, sure. I'm going to need some more stuff to smelt in here, though. There's my materials box there. What have I got? I've got some lead. I've got a fair bit of brass. So I'll chuck them in there as well. In your all go. We're really making a ruckus now. There's a lot of burning going on. Just waiting for my cement mixer to finish up. But I'm pretty sure I just heard the sound of footsteps. So, it's not quite the sound of music. But it is equally as satisfying when you're prepared for it. I did hear the sound of footsteps. Up you come. There you go. <laughs> I mean, I would like to have a better sight on this. The two times scope doesn't really do a whole lot for me. I did mention this the other day. Look, the scope annoys me how it's blacked out around the side. If there's a mod, if anyone knows that there's a mod that make... What the shit was that? Something just exploded somewhere. It sounded like someone beat up a car enough that it turned into smoke and dreams. Someone's down in. But if there's a mod that changes the, like, the overlay so you do have peripheral vision when you're aiming down a scope, someone get at me for that because I would be all about it. That's, like, that's how scopes work. When you look down a scope, this isn't what it looks like. Chuck my cement mixer in on the side. Uh, I'll put you like that. It might seem a little daft, but it is lined up with the rest of them. Scomo, missed ya. Oh, didn't miss you the next time though. I don't know what was inside there, but whatever it was is now leaking off the side of my horde base. It was pretty empty though. There was much less than you think there would be. I hate it. I hate it. I regret putting it like that. I'll pick it up and face it the right way. I thought it looked okay, like facing out of the corner, but just, nah, it doesn't. I'll put the rifle back away. Thank you very much. But do I have like a better mod for you? Um, I was hoping like either like a proper so uh, scope or even like a red dot sight would be well, better than what I've got. But it doesn't really look like it. What I do need to do though is grab uh, whatever mods I can and put them into whatever I can to get the most amount of dollar we do tomorrow. That's good for that bat that I found. Although you guys go in there too. Like a lot of these things, bat mods especially, are just hard to find a home for. Shotgun parts can stay with me. Oh wait, no, this isn't my seller's box. I got confused again there for a second. Almost sold the shit I need. But anyway, it is two in the morning. I'm gonna have to leave this episode here. When I come back, I do have to do some trading tomorrow, try to make some money and buy some more valuable stuff. But I'll do that and then prep for the horde. Might even have time for a cheeky raid, but that's getting pretty ambitious. But I'll have to come back and probably be stupidly ambitious in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the Patreon, the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you guys liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If you don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.